of this three-game interleague series between the Tampa Bay Rays and the East-leading Philadelphia Phillies. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to another edition of Baseball on the Show. Alongside me are Major League veterans Steve Lyons and Eric Karros. And Steve, let's talk about the two starters that take the baseball here tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should make for a pretty good matchup. We'll hear more from the guys as the night moves along. But first, let's take a look here at the starting lineup for the visiting Tampa Bay Rays. And they'll align themselves like this here tonight. They'll go to work against the most valuable player from the 2008 World Series, the change-up specialist, left-hander Cole Hamels. Now we'll look at the way the Phillies will line up behind him. Desmond Jennings makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. First pitch, 7 -7. Now the pitch. Lays off the circle change there, a ball and a strike. EK, you take a look at our homestanding nine as they enter play here this evening. They're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. And they've got themselves a pretty good sized lead in the division coming into play. Certainly not out of reach yet, but. They've got to be pretty comfortable with where they're sitting at this point in the year. Ready with the 2-1. 2-1 pitch, a circle change taken for a cold strike two. He may not throw a ton of change-ups here tonight, but he's got a good one when he needs it. And I think he will need it because this is a good fastball hitting team most teams are so the more you can keep these guys guessing off balance the better and he's getting his money's worth up there now it's full three and two three and two here it is swung on and hit in the air out toward left and Brown will look this one in for out number one David DeJesus digs into the plate. Now here's the first pitch. There's a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Out of play off to the right. It's 1-1. One Here's the 1-1. One, one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. This is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. That alone can be beneficial to an offense. Here's the 2-1 to DeJesus. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2-2 two and two now. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. Now a swing and a miss there by DeJesus as he's gone for out number two. We'll get a good look at the grip on this last circle change. You can see that your fingers actually make kind of an okay symbol on the side of the baseball. And that gives it that nice fading movement it has at the end. Evan Longoria get his first opportunity now and as you see there he's in need of something to go his way because he's been ice cold these past eight ball games yeah. 
Here's the first offering. Now tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. Up with it is Beltran. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. So a spotless top of the first for Cole Hamels. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Starting lineup for the Phillies is there on your screen. starting pitcher they'll match up against as you look at his numbers on the right side of your screen. And defensively the Rays will look like this behind him. Ben Revere will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Here's the first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Eric, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight here in the bottom of the first. They come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, 5-2 and two over their last seven. And they've split the first four games on this road trip, so lately they're in a bit of a holding pattern, but we could be ready to break out right here. Now the 2-0 home over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Here it comes, two and one. Now a slider misses, and that pushes the count to three and one. And this is one guy you want to make earn his way on. Now if you walk him, he can make it cost you with that speed of his. Here he comes, 3-1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball, and it's full now at 3-2. and two. Full count pitch on its way. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. The next 3-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. With that, we'll trot out our scouting report to give you a better indication as what kind of pitches you'll see from this 25-year-old lefty going forward. Chase Utley will get his first opportunity now. 14 home runs to his credit so far this year. First pitch coming. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Here comes the 1-0. And this is fouled back and out of play. Ready now on 1-1. One and, one. and a bouncing ball, foul. Here comes a 1-2. Swing and he pulls the fastball high in the air toward deep right center. There to take it now is Jennings as he makes the play for route number two. Batting third, right fielder, Brandon Jordan. Brandon Jordan will step forward now. Currently third in the National League batting race to begin play.
Now here's the first pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so would the guy on the mound. The 1 0 home. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2 0. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you find yourself in these kind of counts. Now the 3-0 offering. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Michael Franco will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. He's ready now. The pitch. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. Uh, I don't think there's any intent with that. That might be just to let him know that he's out there. The 1-0. Oh. A high strike there, and it's 1-1. One one. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. You've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine. But you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two called, and it's even at two and two. Two, two. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Around third and being waved on hold. And the run will score as the Phillies are off to a one nothing lead. And apparently, they're picking up right where they left off last night. You wondered if maybe they'd want to save some of those runs, but it turns out it might not matter as they hit the board first here again in the first inning. Adrian Beltre will stand in, and you see there he's been scorching hot these past few games. offering on the way and here's a called strike to the 36 year old veteran it's nothing in one you know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away he waits now the pitch and that misses one and one 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 on the way. And this will be fouled away. Here comes the one two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Again, one, two. Now a cutter down around his shoe tops as he hops out of the way. The one thing he's shown so far, not afraid to work inside. Yeah, with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. 
Here he comes on two and two. Swing and a high pop-up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Steven Souza will stand in here and like so many others hitless in the shutout last night. Here's the first offering. They'll start the second with a curveball that's taken here for ball one. Yeah, those are the ones you like to start in that bat, especially your first time up. I agree. Give me a nice easy one in the dirt that I can take so I can really get ahead in that count early. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and very patient here in these opening few innings. And I think that's exactly what they're going to need to do. The more hitters counts that you can get yourself in, the more fastballs you're going to see. And this is a good fastball hitting team. 2-0 count, the pitch. And that one is swung on and lifted out to Revere in center field. And he's got it for out number one. Yeah, a dangerous pitch right there. 2-0 to a middle-of-the-order guy, and he gets away with it. He gets him to lift an easy fly ball. Rene Rivera steps in now. First pitch on the way. And there's the fastball by Hamels. Good for strike one. Now here it comes. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Phillies have an early one nothing lead here in inning number two. One one pitch on the way. One one pitch swung on and pulled down the line to third. Right there is Beltran. Throw on to first and Hamels has retired the first two in the inning. As Drupal Cabrera will stand in, and you see what he's done over the past four games, as hot as they come. First pitch coming. Swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt, and it's strike one. And for as bad as he missed that pitch, you can bet we're going to see that again before this at-bat's over. Here it comes. Ah, not the greatest at bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing in two now. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. The pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Still no fastballs in the at bat. It's been all off speed. Uh, that's definitely by design. He's such a good fastball hitter. You don't want to give in to his strength. Cut fastball misses two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing those first two pitches out of the strike zone, but I think he's caught on to their little game now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes, and the count now two and two. Here comes a two two. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Rays go in order, one, two, three. It remains one nothing. Salvador Perez is stride forward now, looking to keep that hit streak alive. Currently at six games entering play. Here's the first pitch. And here's one that misses to the leadoff man in the inning. The number six hitter in the lineup. It's ball one. One-oh on the way. 
swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. The 1-1. One, one. Inside corner called to strike one and two. Now the one two. Hit hard but foul to the left and they'll try it again. Here's another one two. Fouled back. Now another one two. To two balls and two strikes now. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Come on now, Billy. Sets the two two pitch. And the slider misses here, so he runs the count full three and two. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. Here's the 3 2 pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3 and 2. The 3 2 pitch. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. If you're looking for a good way to add to a one-run lead, a leadoff walk never hurts. Let's see how they want to play this from here. Dominic Brown will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. First pitch coming. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. The next pitch. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Yeah, just really jumping out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball, maybe even slider. The 1-1. And there he goes towards second. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Here's the 1-2. Nope. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Just like the guy he faced before this, another long at bat here. He's had to make 13 pitches just to these last two hitters. Come on, Philadelphia. The 2 2 coming. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. A full three count, balls. three balls and two strikes. Not only do you not want to lose this guy, but you got more trouble right there in the on-deck circle. Come on, Bill. Here's the payoff pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Foul. Once again, a 3-2. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Forsythe back to first, and they'll get Brown as well. A double play. And that was quite a battle up there. He made him throw a ton of pitches. An advantage pitcher here as, in the end, he gets him to ground into the double play. 
Ryan Howard will stand in now. Still struggling to get anything going offensively. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Oh, he checked his swing there and pops this one up. Smiley is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Phillies go down quietly there. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Kevin Leroy will stand in now to lead things off. 7, 8, and 9 here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Now here's the pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0. And a strike to even the count. 1-1. One one. Here's the 1-1. One Chopper, foul. One, two. Curveball, or maybe even the circle change there. Two and two regardless. The two, two. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. On the ground to third. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. This is not exactly the way you want to give up your first hit of the ball game. Just a little infield single here does the trick. But the way this club's been swinging the bats, they'll take it. Logan Forsythe will get his first opportunity here, and that average is certainly not where he wants it down in the 220s to begin the ball game. Come on, turn the double. Now the first pitch. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. 1-0. Line hard. Foul. Now the 1-1. One, one. He's running towards second. Now this is lined into left field for a base hit. Boy, in here you can't get angry at a hitter for hitting the ball too hard. But I think because this got to the outfield grass in such a hurry, that runner from first had to put on the brakes or the hit and run could have backfired at third base. Stepping in now, Drew Smiley. And a bunt attempt here, but this will be foul, so the runners will stay put for now. set now the pitch and they indeed want the pitcher to move his runners as he puts this one down and you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that the sacrifice works to perfection oh man what a terrific play right there that ball was rolling and it stayed low so he had to bend all the way over to make a barehanded grab then a quick release a nice throw to first in time to get the runner you can expect to see that on highlight reels for a couple days at least now Here's Desmond Jennings now. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Now 
the 1-0. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Inside and low, 2-1. and one. Here comes the 2-1. Swing and he pops him up. Behind the bag at second. And therefore it is ugly as that becomes out number two. And as it turns out, no go after all. He'll hold at the bag and that's a big second out. That's a disappointing at bat there with runners in scoring position. Even early on, you've got to be able to cash in when the opportunity presents itself. Because you never know how many more you're going to get. David DeJesus will dig in now with a possible tying and go-ahead runs in scoring position here. First pitch to him. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. and oh. 1-0 on the way. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. and oh. Runners at second and third with two gone. The 2-0 -oh on the way. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that's in there, base hit. And he will cross as well. And they've taken a two-to-one lead. Well, even though he's the number two hitter in the lineup, he says, hey, I'm not just here to be a hit-and-run guy. I can drive in runs just as well as the three and four guys can. True to his word, he comes through here with a two-run single. Evan Longoria will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now the first pitch. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. But there to glove it is the first baseman, Howard, and that will end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Rays lead it two to one. Paul Hamels makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And now a pitch on the way. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1-1. One one. Here comes the 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Here's the lefty's offering on one and two. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. On the mound, he's got to be talking to himself. You know, in the American League, we see DHs like Ortiz and Billy Butler, Michael Young. You're telling me I get to face a pitcher three times a game? I could get used to this. Here's Ben Revere. As he'll line this one foul to the right side out of play, it's strike one. And the pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. On to first, and there are two down. Chase Utley will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, he goes up the ladder on the fastball and pops this one up. 
Cabrera is in his tracks now, and he will put it away to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They still trail it here, two to one. Steven Souza will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Left fielder, Steven Souza. First pitch coming. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Here's the 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 and 0. Here's Hamels now on 2-0. and oh. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. A 2-1 offering. Swing and a liner, but foul. Here's the 2-2 two two offering. Swing and a hard hit ball to second. But Utley is in the right place at the right time. There's one gone. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And both of these guys working in pretty much the same realm. Just a one mile an hour differential from 94 down to 93 is the top speeds. Rene Rivera will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Here's a 1-0. And this is knocked down on the mound. And now, fortunately, they will get it out here. Well, in most cases, once he kicks this thing, it's going to be a sure error. But luckily for him, he's got a diesel tanker headed down the first baseline. So he's able to gather this thing up and still get the out at first. As Drupal Cabrera will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. First offering on the way. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. Revere will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Though Hamels had it work in that half of the inning. He's still on the short end of a 2-1 to -one score. Brandon Jordan will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Here's the first offering. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Here's the 1-0. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And this one is gone. A home run to lead off the bottom of the fourth. to dead center, number 10 for him on the year, as the Phillies have come back to tie this one at two. Boy, this would have been one heck of a play out there in center field. You can see him tracking this ball. He's got it in his sights all the way. And he's not going to miss this by much. He nearly brought it back into the yard. Michael Franco. 
As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Now the 1-0 pitch. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. Now the 2-1 pitch. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off 3-1. and one. Due to follow here is Adrian Beltre. Here he comes on 3-1. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full 3-2. and two. Maybe you worry about this guy getting a little too slider happy. That's three in a row now, so you're giving that guy at the plate a pretty good look at him. Now the three and two pitch. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Here's the full count offering. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Adrian Beltre will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. Here's the first offering. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Is that really the spot you want to be messing with here? Shouldn't be. That's a danger zone if you ask me. Pause. Now the pitch. Here we go. Oh. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. Here's the one and one now to Beltre. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. There to take it is De Jesus, and that's your first out of the inning. Yeah, just a little bit late here on the fastball, and this thing's almost by him when he makes contact. Still, he gets pretty good wood on the ball, but not enough to trouble the right fielder. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember, the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. Step on the back for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. But the Bills have come back to tie it thanks to this solo home run. We played four, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Kevin Leroy will make his way towards the box Leading to lead off the fifth. First baseman, Kevin Leroy. First pitch on the way. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. 2-0 now. He's showing pretty good patience here for a rookie. Those were two tough takes, but he's got it to 2-0. and Now the 2-0. Swing and a shot towards second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat, maybe even a half heartbeat, considering how fast his heart is beating right now. But he's on it all the way, and he winds up making the play. 
Logan Forsythe will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. First pitch coming. Too low, 1-0. One-zero pitch now, and the off-speed pitch is taken here. A ball and a strike. You can't try to outthink him up there. Just get a good pitch and square it up. So one-one home, and this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. The one two. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. I'm not quite sure what that was all about. I don't think he knows either. That was that was almost in the on-deck circles. Standing in now, Drew Smiley. As Hamels will jump ahead of him, it's 0-1. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Now the pitch. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. And you'd have to figure that in any interleague matchup, it'd be the National League pitchers that have the upper hand at the plate. Apparently, this guy didn't get the memo. Desmond Jennings will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. And here's the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Oh. Well, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. Man at first with two out in a 2-2 two -two ball game. You can do it. Here comes the 1-0. Now a ball hit high in the air. Deep down the line and left. Hooking just a little. And now this will make it down to the 334 sign. And a relay to the plate. And they will tag him out at the plate. And that will keep our ball game tied up as the inning is over. We'll see the young phenom Dominic Brown lead things off on the other side. Home half of the fifth coming up. And we are tied 2-2. And there indeed is Dominic Brown. He'll step in trying to do something about this 2-2 tie. First pitch coming. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1-0. and The 1-0. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's 1-1. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. That's what you have to do against a big sweeping slider like that. It starts in the zone and it's probably going to finish out of the zone. So that's a good job just to lay off. Here's the two one pitch. Got a piece. It's two and two. Here's the two and two home. And this is fouled straight back. Now another two two. Cabrera there for this one is short. And a good throw gets him one gone. And I just think this is one of those swings where you just get committed a little bit too early. By the time you realize this thing was going to break out of the strike zone, it was just a little too late to hold back. 
So the base is empty here with one away. And digging in, slugging first baseman Ryan Howard. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. On the first, and the shift pays off there as Howard is retired for the second out. And right here, if the defense is playing straight up, you figure this has a good chance to get up the middle. But you can see the shortstop lining up just to the right of second base, so the shift works to a tee, and they get the 6-3 put out. Into the box, Cole Hamels. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. You know, maybe the most impressive thing about his performance so far, he's doing it all in a hitter's ballpark. Now, it's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. Now here's the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Here comes a 1-2. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order through five, all even at 2-2. Two, two. David DeJesus will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. David DeJesus. Now the first pitch. And Hamels takes something off to start the at-bat and it pays off. It's 0-1. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but... As long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Ready now on one and one. Hit on the ground to shortstop. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Well, only three strikeouts for him in the ballgame, but you've got that slow stuff, keeping guys off balance. You don't need to rely on strikeouts. Evan Longoria will try things again. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. Now the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. And this is going to be a foul ball. One one on the way. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. comes the one two fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away well, right now that fastball has been so good he really hasn't needed any of his secondary pitches another good heater there into the box now Steven Souza as he'll swing and lift a foul ball off to the left and out of play Pitch on the way. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Two runs, five hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's the one, two. Got him. Down in order go the Rays. Home half of the sixth inning coming up. Deadlocked at two apiece.
Ben Revere will stand in to lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. And action now with the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right-hander's begun to get loose. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Souza is camped under this one. One pitch, one away. Well, he's 0 for 3 now in the ball game. And I think I can tell you why. If you're not a power hitter, you need to hit down on the ball. Try and drive things. This guy doesn't have enough muscle to hit home runs consistently, so he's wind up his routine flyouts. One out for the Bills in their half of the sixth, and making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. Now here's the first pitch. Here we go. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. One out, nobody on. 1-0 on the way. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. So one one. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. The one and two with one away. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Now the two two pitch. Hit pretty well as this is out toward deep center. And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for out number two. And here's a look at his pitches by inning so far. He's up to 82 now, so he's been able to keep that count fairly low and not run up too many high-stress innings. Brandon Jordan will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. A solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. First pitch to him. And a good slider here to start the at-bat, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. The next pitch. That misses 2-0. Okay. Oh. Two tough sliders there back to back, and he couldn't get him to bite on either. Now he might have to change tack here down 2-0. Oh. Here comes the 2-0. Oh. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. Here now the 2-2. And this is hit well towards the hole. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Six innings complete, all square at 2-2. Two and two. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. All tied at two apiece as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's have a look at our game summary through the first six. Rene Rivera will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. And that's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and very even game through six innings. First pitch coming. 
And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Oh, that's long, huh? So long. The 1 0. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And it's gone. So a solo shot here to left center field. And that pushes the Rays out on top here. Three to two. Boy, and for how well he's pitched so far, it's hard to believe that he could stand to be the losing pitcher, but that's the scenario he faces now as he serves up the lead on this home run. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now, and a change is forthcoming as that'll be all here for Cole Hamels. He'll leave after six and at the very least kept his club in it to this point. Justin DeFreitas will come on now as he'll take over in inning number seven. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. On, now here it comes. Oh, Outside at 94, one ball and one strike. The 1-1 one, one home to Cabrera. Fastball called strike one and two very patient here to start the at bat Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two yeah, And I don't think he's gonna get anything better than that to hit The right-hander deals on one and two oh, that's out. and he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two oh. Now Cabrera awaits the two two fouled back Three runs, six hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Ready with another 2-2. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. He knows a drill out there. you got to make him swing the bat. And not be giving up walks at this stage of the game, because those could be fatal. Three-two, here it comes. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Up next for Tampa Bay, first baseman, Kevin Leroy. Kevin Leroy will dig in with one in and one away. Here's the first pitch to him. And a check swing looked like he went around. Yes, indeed, says the first base umpire. Strike one. Now the pitch. Ball one. One one pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. One out, nobody on. The pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Again, a 1-2. That's popped up. Now toward short right field. And 
therefore it is Utley as that becomes out number two. And one thing this kid's going to find out is that everything speeds up at the major league level. Those pitches that you were on top of in AAA, they have a tendency to get on top of you much quicker now. You've got to learn to adjust. Logan Forsythe will stand in now. He's singled and struck out in two trips. Now here's the first pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. And now a pitch on the way. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. There to get it is Utley. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. One for the Rays on the solo home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's now 3-2 to two, Tampa. Michael Franco will stand in. Base on balls his last time. Here's the first offering. In need of a quick inning here, but he starts this one with a ball. It's 1-0. and The 1-0 home. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. and one. Here he comes on two and one. Here we go. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for out number one. You just get the sense that he's got it on cruise control out there now. Make it nine in a row, he said now. Adrian Beltre will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. First offering on the way. Trying to work that slider to the outer half, but it misses 1-0. and Now the 1-0. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, 1-1. One one. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3-4-5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2-1 and one now. Now the 2-1. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. Taken there by Cabrera. Throw to first will be in time to retire Beltre, and there's out number two. And you know, he really doesn't have to throw that changeup all that much for it to be an effective pitch. You can see what his breakdown is so far. Salvador Perez, yet another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. First pitch on the way. This is pretty well hit by Perez, but he got out in front a bit too much. It's a foul ball. Here's the pitch. Laced into right field for a base hit. Yeah, the time runs on base now with two outs, and who knows? If this next guy can put one in the gap, we could have ourselves a tie ball game. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here.
Kevin Jepson will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Nick Franklin is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Nick Franklin. Dominic Brown will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Here's the first offering. And this is taken outside for ball one. Now you've got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to school. one -oh. Good swing there, but this is fouled off to the right side. Now the 1-1. One -one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now the one two. Tough hit to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Yeah, and on one and two, when you know the guy at the plate needs to protect, that's a great spot for that curveball. A lot of guys, they would have gone fishing. Two two. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Another try at 2-2. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia. Still a 3-2 ball game. Nick Franklin will stand in now as he'll be getting his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. Nick Franklin. And here's the first pitch. On to the eighth now as the first pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. one -oh on the way. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Ready on 2-1. Two and one. To two and two now. Here he comes on two and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Desmond Jennings will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch coming. This is foul right side. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. Here it comes. Down and away, ball one. He showed him that slider running away two times in a row. Now might be a good time to call him that two-seamer running in. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. 
throwing a lot of strikes. That's what you want. Bases are empty, one man out. One, two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Two two pitch on the way. Full count, three and two. David De Jesus waits on deck. Full count offering on its way. Rolled foul off to the left, so he stays alive. Now the payoff pitch home. Here's a swing and a ground ball. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Two, one more time. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. The right fielder, number seven. I almost got him to go around there. The question will be, did he break the plane? Show motion says uh, that's that's awfully close. I, you know, I don't know if you can definitely say either way, but he's going to take first base regardless. David De Jesus. We'll step forward now following the walk as he'll hit with a definite speed threat at first and one away. You can bet he's going to see some fastballs in this at bat. I'd be looking dead red. First pitch coming. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Comes set, now the pitch. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. And that's through for a base hit. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Genmar Gomez is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Cameron Rupp will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Evan Longoria will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Come on, Sue! Now the first pitch. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Even though this is still just a one-run game, this thing could get ugly in a hurry. So if you've got an out pitch, you better pull it out of the bag right now. Here's a 1-0. Still won't get him to fish downstairs, and it's 2-0 now. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Trouble spot here, the 2-0. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. The 2-1 home. And treading carefully with Longoria here. It's 3-1 now. Fastball here? I think it has to be. You're licking your chops if you're the hitter. 3-1, you can't walk the bases loaded. Bail and wail. Now the 3-1 pitch. 
Uh, well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Going to be extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner will score from second. And he is in to score as well. Two big insurance runs there as they've upped the lead now to three. Oh, and a crucial, crucial at-bat right there. And that's what they call delivering when the pressure's on as they play two more here and move that lead to three now. Steven Souza will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. Now the first pitch. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while, and when he does, you can forget it. Come set, now the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Come on, let's do it. Another 0-2 coming. Sinker misses, and it's 1-2 and two now. And even on 1-2 and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. From the belt, kicks and deals. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. It's to two balls and two strikes now. And this is where he gets so tough. He's seen everything you've got, but you've still got to make one more good pitch to get him out. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Wow, what an at-bat he's having right now. He's fought off some tough pitches. He's laid off a few pitches like that one. And now he's worked his way back to a three and two count. Three two pitch. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. The next three two. Now a big swing as this is popped up. And I mean way up there toward the right side of the infield. Howard is there. Two down. Well, anytime you get an RBI guy to the plate with less than two outs, he does that, he is not happy. That's the kind of at bat that'll stick with you for a while. Rene Rivera will stand in to try it again already with one home run in the ball game. And on cue, here it was back in the seventh inning. A solo shot that provided quite a spark for these guys. Now here's the first pitch. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Rays are out in front, 5-2. to two. Ryan Howard will dig in for a third time now. He's popped out and grounded out so far. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First pitch to him. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Oh. Oh. He wanted to go after that one, but that's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. The Come on, Howard. Here's the 1-0. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. now. He's looking like he's a little too amped up out there. He's got to channel that a little more because that pitch wasn't that close.
2-0 on the way. 3-0 and now. And it goes without saying, but this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. Three zero is on the way, and no doubt about this one. It's in there, three and one. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. The three one is on the way, and the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now, three and two. Full count pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 to punch him out. One away. This little four-game run they've been on has been a good one, but unless things change in a hurry, looking like that win streak's going to end right here. Cameron Ruff will step in now, and some action in that raised bullpen as the right-hander Grant Balfour is getting loose out there. First pitch coming. And that's in there for strike one. And time's getting short here. You don't want to have to face that closer in the ninth inning needing three runs. They need to cut that gap down somehow. We're in the eighth inning now of a 5-2 to two ball game. Now the pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the frame with back-to-back -back strikeouts here. Three in a row going back to the last inning, and there are two away. Hard to do much better than this. I mean, here are the only three batters he's faced since coming on. Strikeout, strikeout, and strikeout. Boy, that is flat dealing there. Ben Revere will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Let's go, Phillies. Come on. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch curveball runs in a bit too tight. It's ball one. Here's the 1-0. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's 1-1. One and one. Credit where credit's due. This guy's done a good job out of the bullpen. No question. He's been able to hold that lead, and these guys really haven't threatened him at all. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead 1-2 and two now. You talk about coming back with a shutdown inning. How about striking out the side to give your guys a little bit of a lift? He's one pitch away from doing just that. Two out, nobody on. The one, two. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. The two, two coming. Outside and a full count, three and two. Now the three and two pitch. Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Oh, no. Phillies down in order, and the deficit remains five to two. Ken Giles will come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. As Drupal Cabrera will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. And the pitch. 
Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. Now here's a ground ball that'll get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. And with that, that'll push his hit streak to a modest six games. Kevin Leroy will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Here's the first offering. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. As a look, now the pitch. Outside for a ball, one and one. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And a bouncing ball, foul. Here comes a 1-2. Fastball, got him looking. As that had two-seam action on it, one gone. Well, let's isolate this release here. You can see he's got an easy motion, easy delivery, and boom. Then he runs his pitch up there pretty darn quick. Kevin Kiermeyer will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And he might have been on the on deck circle just saying. Man, I get one at bat and it's against this guy? Thanks a lot. Runner at first here, one man out. Hot dog, get hot dog. From the stretch. Strike. The pitch, a fastball off his glove and it bounds away. And that's going to move that runner into scoring position now. With the pass ball there... That'll take away the possibility of getting a double play to end the inning. So that could come back to bite him. The 1-1. One, one. Grounded foul off to the right side. comes the one two now a hard liner but this is a foul ball one out and a runner on second base another one two delivery lays off two and two now Two, two. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. The two, two, one more time. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. And when you know you've got a guy in protect mode up there, and he's fouling off pitches left and right, that's when you know you can just keep taking him further and further away winds up getting the punch out here on a pitch that's well out of the zone. Stepping in now, Nick Franklin, as he swings and pops this one foul off to the right out of play. From the belt, the pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike.
two out here and a runner at second. One and one home to Franklin. And the pitch takes off inside and it gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. With two outs already, this isn't the end of the world from a defensive perspective, but now at least you bring in the possibility of an infield single, or a booted grounder, or even another wild pitch bringing that run home. The 2 1. Uh, could have been 3 and 1. Instead, it's 2 and 2. And you know, this is a spot where you just have to make them bring the ball down. It's very difficult to do anything positive when it's up that high. Here comes a 2 2. No. And a full count as that misses. It's 3 and 2 now. Very tempting up there, but that's also a pitch that a lot of guys will pop up. So that's a nice job of laying off. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to the big fella Howard at first, and with that, the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. So nothing in the Tampa ninth. One last shot now for Philadelphia. They trail it here by three. Jake McGee is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 57, Jake McGee. Chase Utley will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Pitch on the way. Fouled back. And now a pitch on the way. A swing and a broken bat as this is hit on the ground to second. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. And this is what you're going to get when you've got a hard thrower coming out of the bullpen. When you're late on a fastball and you make contact below your label, it's Snap City right there. He turned that bat into firewood. In now, Brandon Jordan. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Well, you know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. The 1-0 pitch. That's inside. 2-0. And you go back to the call on that very first pitch. How important that was. Now instead of a 1-1 one one count, you're at 2-0 with a really dangerous hitter up there. Hitters count 2-0. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. Ready with the 2-1. Swing and a line drive to left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoke. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. Standing in now, Michael Franco. Now a check swing as he's able to fight this one off. Foul. Bases are empty here with two men out.
the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And a step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he only had one hit, but he definitely made it.